If you three hundred and fifty thousand pounds. If 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 I take the camera. Go on. And you take that. Okay. Don't drop it, though. Well, it's been great seeing you, John. Anyway. <laughs> Wow, John, this is, I mean, mind-boggling. I didn't expect it to be so grand and quite obviously an awful lot of money spent on this place, if you don't mind me saying. Um, a little bit, yes, but a visitor experience, that's what it's all about. We'd like to, to bring back the, 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 the whole theatre of auctions. That's interesting you say that, because auctions... It's all about theatre. Yes. It's all about entertaining, isn't it? Yes. And I think auctioneers that don't get that don't really succeed. And you're, you're very theatrical. I've known you for a number of years. You're also very good with people because you've got a retail background as well. So you're marrying all that together. And I do believe you were a, an entertainer of some sort. Oh, I used to be a children's entertainer for a little while, yes. <laughs> but uh, that, that, was, that was many, many years ago. And a dancer. Yes. yes. There you go. So you come from that entertainment background. And selling anything is very much about entertaining yes. and winning people over. But the premises, I'm sure you staff won't mind me videoing them. They are very busy. I mean, look at this. And right in the middle of Royal Wooten Bassett. It's, I mean, it's quite a grand location, isn't it? It, it, it is. Uh, and opening the auction house here not only is the, uh, uh, to obviously get people in, uh, buying and selling here but it's also uh, to some extent for the town we yeah. like to uh, 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 get more people into Bassett yeah. to uh, support the high street so often we hear about uh, high streets dying yeah. high streets struggling uh, and it's all about bad news but there's good news out there as yeah. well and you can bring people in if only uh, you, you just come up with something new. Yeah. So, something very novel. You've yes. done that. Talking of novel, what on earth Thank you. is that? So obviously uh, uh, we need to make certain areas of the building secure. She doesn't um, like me. She's not saying anything no, to me. No, Why isn't she saying anything to me? She, they, she doesn't know you. She doesn't know me. No. This is face recognition. It is, yes. The whole building is... is... Hello. This is bonkers. <laughs> Did you know it was so bonkers? Yeah. <laughs> Come on through. Right. Come on into okay. the auction room. So this used to be a supermarket. It used to be the old co-op uh, in Wooden Bassett. That's closed uh, three or four years ago now. We've done a lot of work wow. on the building since then. Stop everything. Who is this? Uh, this is Kang. Kang? Hello, so Kang. every antique shop, every Hello, auction house, should have a dog. Absolutely. This is Kang the dog. Yes, he's featured on a few episodes of Antiques Road Trip. Now. Of course. Uh, and hopefully when Bargain Hunt come and visit us in March, I believe, right. they'll, um, they'll, they'll spot him. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the heart of the operation. This yes. is where the goods come and go. Yep. So uh, this essentially is a two room auction house. We have a, a movable wall that we can separate. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, ordinarily, we would have the partition shut. We'd be filling up one side of the... Uh, auction house uh, with the next sale whilst emptying the other side but uh, we've got a two-day sale coming up and this will be your very first sale very first we've got a uh, thousand lots or thereabouts wow so um, yep there's a there's a lot of good stuff to sell okay now and what about your commission rates 10 percent 10 percent wow okay so this is very very unusual isn't it? It is. It used to be 10%. Many, many moons ago. But gradually, gradually auction houses have, have notched up those fees to the point where when you're paying 23, 24% commission, yeah. it, 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 especially if, if you're a new buyer, you, you, you don't know how auction houses work, um, it can be a, quite a shock. Quite a shock. It's a way of describing <laughs> it. Okay, 10% either side. Yes. Okay, yes. and can you make that work? We believe so, yes. Yeah. Yeah, With, um, uh, if we get the right lots in and we get the turnover, why shouldn't it? Okay, and I can see that you're going for middle to up market. You want individual things that you can put a lot number on as opposed to boxes and boxes of stuff. I'm, I'm assuming yes. that's the, the, the route. Absolutely, yeah. yes. Th th this very much is going to be a um, destination 
Yeah, we want lots of people in the auction room. Um, we don't, uh, obviously, we, we're going to be online. We're on all the auction platforms. Yes, I mean, you're very techy, actually. Well, look, look at your face recognition, John. I mean, come on. You are a bit of a tech monster, aren't you? Yes, yeah. yes. Yes. So, 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 so people can buy, wherever they're watching in the world, they, they can come and see you. Obviously, it'd be a yeah. great experience, uh, but they can buy online. But you've also got a cafe coming as well. Yes, we've got a cafe bistro that will be online uh, in March. Right. Uh, we have a fantastic chef who is, is running that. So it's not just your bacon butty and a coffee. Um, we'll, we'll be offering a good quality menu. It'll be open in the evenings. Really? A fantastic wine list. Uh, Gosh. Um, so it, 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 it's the full package. Okay, but you're really going for it, aren't you? How many staff have you got? Uh, so all in within the group, there are 29 staff now. Right. Um, I'll take you briefly around some of the other parts of the business. Yeah. Uh, I'll take you around to the coin shop. Because um, that's where it started for you in Wooden Bassett, didn't it? With the, with, with the antique shop. Uh, and, and, and with coins, antiques and, and gold buying. Yes, yes. Yeah. So Gold Traders has been operating for 15 years now. Right. Um, just as the cash for gold business was really taking off in America. Yeah. Um, I was over there and spotted it. The cash for gold business model um, such that customers aren't really told up front what they're going to get. Right. Um, those companies in the States were working on um, an 80% right like there. They'd pay, they'd pay the customer 20% of, of, of the, the, the actual wow. gold value. There's a profit margin there. In, in the UK, when the, the, the postal free envelope cash for gold companies started operating, they would pay between 20 and 40%. Right. Um, I knew I could do it better. Yeah. So I set up gold traders. Gold Traders pays well in excess of 90% of the gold value. Okay, okay. Um, so you can still make a good margin, yes. but you need to make huge turnover. Turnover. Okay, yeah. which is basically, I can see, it's the same sort of business model here, yes. isn't it? 10% yep. commission, which is very low in the world of auctions in the United Kingdom right now. I think but it's you're, changing. It is changing. <laughs> we know it's changing. Yes. We've seen a few changes this year. But you're going to really hit the market running, aren't you? Yes. I think you will make some big changes. Are you expecting some ripples throughout the industry? I can't imagine that everyone is happy about it. <laughs> but uh, there's no harm in being a market disruptor. Yeah. Things can always be done better. Right. And, and that's what we always strive to do here. Um, and what are you doing in here? So this is our photo studio. Uh, this is Kimberly. Hello, Kimberly. Hiya. Hello there. I hope you don't mind being on... No, no, uh, fine. channels. No. Kimberly's been um, taking some photos of some rather special coins today. We oh, have, right. We have a coin auction coming up at the end of the month. Oh, show me, show we, me. We are fortunate enough to have access to some absolutely exceptional pieces. Uh, um, am I looking at one? Yes, yep. So this is a Royal Mint uh, Gothic crown, Court at Arms. That's one kilo. It's oh, not solid gold. It's solid gold. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Is that sort of impressive? Uh, it is. I'm, I'm surprised my camera's not wobbling. Okay. Well, <laughs> That's how impressive it is. We'll pan, pan a little bit over this way. Right. Oh my goodness that, me. That, that is a five kilo solid gold. What? Royal Mint coin. Now I know that one um, has an estimate of about 350,000. Oh, stop it. You're kidding me. 350,000. Yeah. Is that impressive? Yes. Yeah, I'm actually almost speechless. Do you know that? <laughs> let me show Go on. You. Let, let me show you this one. Go on. So, by the way, these aren't going to be here by the end of today. No. So, so, <laughs> so, 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 so anyone <laughs> watching these videos, <laughs> don't, don't. If you're a potential burglar, they're going to be, forget about it. They're going to be long, 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 long far away. Right, what so, are we looking at? So this is, again, the Gothic Court at Arms from the Royal Mint. And again, this is another five kilo solid gold coin, 350,000 pounds. Can we turn it over? Yeah. Can you hold that for very much longer with like, your arms <laughs> <laughs> quivering off as our wonderful old queen? Oh, well, if you- 350,000 pounds. If, if, if I take the camera- Go on. And you take that. Okay. 
don't drop it though. Well, it's been great seeing you, John, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> because, I mean, that's my day's pay. <laughs> wow. Wow. I mean, just wow. Who would buy this? Where is the market? So that is one of one. It's bonkers. Uh, and uh, <laughs> you're looking very worried. I'm going to get back to you. We, we have uh, international <laughs> collectors. Yeah who will um, be interested in that. So it, it could go anywhere in the world? Yep. Okay. Yeah. And, and you're selling for a client? Yes, this is, um, that's being sold on behalf of a client. Um, so they arrived first thing this morning, they're going through photography and then they're going off site again. Okay, going to a very secret location. A long way away. Yeah. <laughs> well, nice to see you. Nice to Keep see up you. the good work. Okay, no running away with those things. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're tempted. <laughs> uh, I'm going to hand you over to Steve, who's okay. our general manager. Okay. Oh, hang on, I seem to have lost my glasses. I'll come back in a moment. Hang on. I put them down. It's all the shock. It's the shock of these gold values. Oh, I've got them. Thank you very much. So now I can see where I'm going. Right, I'm back on. So this is Steve. Steve? Our general manager. David, how do you do? Very good to meet you, Steve. Thank really you. good to meet you. Thank you, John. I'll catch up with you later. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. So, Steve. Yes. Tell me about you. Um, okay. Well, I started off life as, um, I suppose, helping out in an auction house at a very young age because my dad was an antique dealer. Uh -huh. And that led me into the world of property. Right. So I became a chartered surveyor and practiced in property for about 30, 35 years, two right. years. And yeah. then came back to antiques and auctions uh, at the end of it all. Right. And how long have you been with the organisation? with uh, Gold Traders Group, four years, four right. and a half years. Right, okay. So this is a very exciting time now, you, because this we're heading for the very first auction. We are. In what, a couple of weeks? Uh, yes, indeed. Right, okay. That's, that's a scary thought. Will you be ready? <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, born, born ready. Born ready. But yeah, we will be ready. Okay, brilliant. And, and who is this lovely lady here? This is Becky. Hi, Becky, hi, nice hi, to hi, meet hi, you, nice Becky. You. Lovely to meet you too. Great hat, I love that. Thank you very much. Good style. Okay. What's your favourite lot in the auction? I have lots of favourite lots. I think one of them is probably this chappie here. Guy Fawkes. Guy Fawkes? That's Guy Fawkes. Is this, that a Dalton figure? It is. Um, spotted. Let me get in there. He's a quite, he's a rare for a Dalton, isn't he? It is terribly rare. Um, I don't think there's another one like it. I think this is a trial piece. Oh, really? So if we take a closer look at it, on the bottom, You've got lovely, lovely marks with the signature yeah. of Charles Noakes. Yeah. Um, and potted by Dalton and Co. So this is just before they became Raw Dalton. Okay. Or rather, because there you've got the little cipher with the crown on it, is as they were changing over from being Dalton to Raw Dalton. Oh, now, wow. the Guy Fawkes figure is one of the series of figures they did. Um, but normally when you see these, the cloak is bright red. Okay. This one, it's got that little bit of iridescence about it, reminiscent of flambe wear. Yes. If you know of Charles Oakes Flambe where yes. sort of came around the start of the 20th century, about 1904, I think it was first exhibited in the St. Louis exhibition over in America. And one of the reasons I think this is possibly a trial piece is partly because the colours haven't really worked on the cloak, but also you can see some of the, of the glaze just yes. failing there. Yes, yes. You think, you think that was from new as opposed to Absolutely. deterioration? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah you, as a, yeah. a kiln fault, yeah. Isn't that interesting? It's all about the tiniest of details, isn't it? And this is the sort of thing that, because it failed, would possibly be, have, have been thrown in the bin. Yes. So how come it survived? Uh, well, the people who consigned it to us, uh, their great-grandparents used to work for oh, how Dalton. Lovely. And I think this is possibly one where they said, yep, throw it away, get rid. Yeah. And they thought, that's too good to get rid of. No, let's take, take it home as a bit of a freebie. So that's why it survived. Now, the issue for us on this one as auctioneers and valuers is, well, what's it worth? Yeah. And who knows? What's who knows? Like because that? it's the old, old thing. Find me another one. OK, go on. What's the estimate? I think we're estimating it at two to three hundred. But to be honest, it could go several hundred pound more than that okay and I'm very excited because it, yeah. we'll be setting a new new price for it there you go it's a potential flyer however I, i'm fascinated and i think it tells a lot that 
one of your favorite items in the sale room is not the most expensive. No, no. Because it's not always about the money, is it? it it's not. And for, for me, I mean, I love ceramics. Yeah. Um, I've done a bit of potting in my time. I can appreciate how difficult it is to make things, yeah. um, how things can go wrong, both in the manufacture, but also in the glazing, and how difficult it is sometimes to produce that perfect piece yes. uh, that, that goes through all the various stages yeah. without mistakes having been made. We, we, we have first period Royal Worcester up yeah. there as well, you know, yeah. dating back to the 1750s, 1760s. Yeah. It's stuck around for 270 years. Yeah, no, years. it's bonkers, isn't it? It is bonkers. It's, it really it's is bonkers. that long. And it's funny, isn't it, how we really do like the things that were faulty when new. It's odd, isn't it? It's not all about the money and it's not all about absolute perfection. It's not. And um, there's a growing trend, of course, and you'll be aware of this, uh, for buying pieces that have been stapled in the past. I love stapled objects. Um, so do I. Let's um, have a wander around anyway as, as, okay. as we're going. Yeah, wonderful. So, John's told you all about the, the auction house and yes. how it came into, into being. Yes. Um, our intention here was to, is to create something which is a little bit different, where somebody can come and spend a really good quality uh, day out. Yeah. That's why we've got the bistro, that's why we've got the art gallery, yeah. and that's why we've got a, an auction room which is warm. Oh no, you've got an art Welcome gallery in. as well. We've got an art gallery upstairs. Where, upstairs? I haven't been yeah. upstairs yet. Okay, so I think John's going to take me up there at some point. Okay, I'm just, so this is going to be an art gallery open... Open to the public. ...as a separate entity to the auction. Absolutely indeed. It's very clever, it gets though, people in the building. Though we will be able to use it from time to time if we've got a specialist sale coming through. Yeah. We can use the gallery as a preview location. Right. right. So okay. yeah, we're, we're trying to create a wonderful day out there. And so many people are interested in auctions. Yeah. Partly because of the sort of programs that you've been involved in. Of course, in over the of years. course, yeah. But if you talk to lots of people, they say, oh no, I've never been to an auction. No, that's right. So, so why not? What are the barriers yeah. stopping them going to an auction? Um, and that's what we're looking to overcome. Well, well, here. well there are no barriers here. Absolutely. It's very yeah. open, it's very welcoming. And you are right, and it is actually somewhere you could bring elderly relatives or, or young children. Indeed. There's something to entertain them. And if you've got a gap in your lots, let's say yeah. you're interested in lot 200 and lot 400, yeah. there's a couple of hours to kill, yeah. wander around the town. Wander around the town, the yeah. Town. Go and get yourself a nice... A nice coffee and a sandwich. Exactly, absolutely. exactly. Yeah. Well, Steve, this is absolutely... Well, and do you know what? For an auction room, it's warm it is. and comfortable. As I say, you can spend a day here and, <laughs> and not go home with flu. And I haven't used the facilities yet, but I imagine the toilet facilities are very lovely. Indeed, they are. Which is highly unusual for any auction room. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, again, it's one of those important things. Because the toilets are going to be used by the bistro uh, yeah. customers and upstairs by the gallery customers, yeah. they've got to be top-notch. Top-notch. I love it. Who's that fellow with the big beard? That is Gareth. Now, what does Gareth do? Shall we go and meet Gareth? Yeah. That is one heck of a beard, Gareth. Well, he's a Viking. He's year. a Viking. We call him our Viking auctioneer. It seems the beard's got more attention than the sale. <laughs> uh, no, pleased to meet you. Very good it, to meet you it too. It was never my intention for that to be. I, I didn't want the beard to be the, the draw. But Listen, we all thing. need our thing, right? So I, I wear brightly coloured trousers. <laughs> Philip Serrell wears I wacky skulls, which I've nicked here. <laughs> uh, John wears his waistcoat. You've got your beard. Steve, what have you got? Me? Oh, me. I've got a word. Look on my face. That's what I wear all. <laughs> 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 so Gareth, tell me about your role. Show me around. Tell me what. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm I'm head auctioneer so. yeah. at RWB Auctions. Um, I came in in July from another local auction rooms, and it's great to be here. Yeah. It's really really exciting. It's a good I mean, organisation. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. And and from uh, you know I've worked in lots of different places and been to lots of different auctions. There's not many that's as uh, well lit and yeah. flat and yeah. warm. Warm. We um, mentioned I'm that. Sure Steve's yeah. already said. Oh, it's, 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 it's just a well laid out place. Well, I, I, one of the reasons why I think it's so well laid out is because you've done it from scratch, all of you, mm. haven't you? you? You've designed this building to create the perfect auction room. Exactly. Where most auction rooms, they go into an old industrial building or a school or a church and they work with God. This is laid out to create the perfect auction room. And I can only think of one or two auction rooms around the world mm. that have actually done that. Mm. And you've done it on a high street as well. Yes. Which I don't think that's ever been done so no, far. I, I not not to, to this level. To rattle my brains, to think of another auction that is on a, on a high street. Yeah that has been designed as an auction and made for an auction purpose. And like it's got said, car parking. I know. 
know. How do you do like this? God. Gareth, like this God. is impossibility. This is an impossibility. <laughs> it's gold, isn't it? It is it's gold. gold. Well, so, well, talking of gold, there's Mr. Gold over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can help me. Oh, wow, Gareth, so, this is, so you're very excited, but you're the head auctioneer, yes. main auctioneer. Yes. And it is about theatre. It is. You're going to be up there with the drama. beard. Yes. You're going to be entertaining. I hope so. You I will so. be. I don't know how entertaining I'm going to be on the <laughs> day. I might be nervous, but I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, and I think staff are looking forward to it yeah. as well. It's been, it's been a journey getting here, and, yeah. and the, the sale days sale days for this sale are coming soon. So looking forward to it, really looking forward well, to it. Well, we're looking forward to it very much. Gareth, yes. great to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Who else do I need to see? Am I, am I going to, John, are we going to go and have a look at this art gallery I hear you have? Yes, yes. Right. Come on up. You never told me about that. <laughs> Thank you, Gareth. Great to see you. So we have an art gallery, do we? Do. Okay. So when, um, when we did the, uh, the conversion from supermarket to auction house. Yeah. Just wait for the dog. Come on, dog. <laughs> We um, tacked on an extra part to the building. Right. Which is now our rooftop terrace and art gallery. Wow. So as well as, come on dog, as well as hosting regular auctions, we're going to be running special events. Right. And featuring local artists. Wow. I mean, is this a lift as well? Yes, yes so we're fully disabled friendly. Okay. Uh, there are no wow. steps to navigate if you are in a wheelchair or um, are of restricted mobility. And Goodness this me. This is our gallery. Wow, and this is a bar. Yes, we have um, uh, the, the carpenters are hard at work at the moment. Getting this ready, we've got a, an opening event this evening. So oh. Well, I never. Is this a new build? Yes. So uh, where you're stood at the moment, uh, you're in the old part of the building and you're just crossing the threshold. This is now the brand new part. So essentially the builders had to uh, fit a steel structure inside the existing building to hold up this part. Uh, it was monumental, a huge frames. And huge. you know, we were saying downstairs that this is a, a really rare example of a building designed to be the perfect auction room. And this is a rare example of a room designed to be the, a perfect art gallery. You've got all this natural light coming in here. It's laid out in such a way you've got streaming light. It's, it's an entertainment space yes. because we touched on this about auctions being theatrical. Selling art, I know, I sell my art, is also theatrical. When you have an art exhibition, you need spaces like this. Yes. So you've done the so, you've so done we, incredible we, job. We, we, we've got the space. Uh, we, it, it's called the View Gallery. Is, is, is that? A, can you get outside? Yes. Come on through. Goodness me. So we've got some cracking views. He must be an eccentric millionaire. He's got to be, hasn't he? I'm eccentric. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Oh. oh, let me just have a little... Oh, it's an outdoor, but undercover. You've thought of absolutely everything. And if you squint just over in that direction, across to the veil, you will see one of the famous Wiltshire white horses. I can see it. Uh, that one is uh, over in Broadtown. Um, I can see it. Particular time of year on the full moon, the full moon rises directly behind the white horse. Does it really? Of course it does. Of course it does. <laughs> Perfect positioning for your art gallery. Yes, yes, so it's <laughs> called the view gallery for the view, but also to view the fantastic painting. Goodness me. So yes, opening opening night tonight. We've got some uh, special guests coming. We've sold three paintings already and we're well not done. open yet. Well done, well done. <laughs> and I suppose the art gallery ties in nicely with the auction room because it gets people in, it gets the building in use, doesn't it? Yes. And yeah. whilst they're looking at art, I'm quite su sure that they can look at antiques downstairs as well. And I can see a red dot. There we go. That's sold. How very lovely. 
Well done, Teresa. So yes, we, we touched on it before. Auction houses, destination venues. Yeah. And, and that's, what, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Uh, putting an auction house in a town centre location. Yes. We don't just want the benefit of lots of visitors for here. Yeah. We want our visitors to visit us, park in our car park, yeah. come here. Yeah. When they finish here, we want them to go down the high street. We yes. want them to support the local pubs. Of course. We want them to, yes, we've got a cafe, we've got our own bistro, yeah. but there are other coffee shops. But there's also accommodation. This is the kind of auction room that people will travel 300 miles to visit and it's worth the visit, and so they can stay in the local hotels, can't they? Yeah. And is this where you, where, where, where is all the offices, the, uh, you've, you've got, you, I bet you've got the best office. I've got a very empty office at the moment. <laughs> Everybody else has been looked after, and uh, I'm afraid I've had to just make you do. I'm sure you don't. Uh, all the guys, uh, this is the, the, the shared office. All right, okay. Goodness me, I mean, it's so modern. This is, this is where your, your, sorry. <laughs> your techiness comes in, isn't it? Um, so it, it's all been, been all about creating a comfortable working environment. You, you, know, you, you will understand in the antiques industry, so often you're in a cold building, um, not particularly comfortable, unpleasant toilets. Yeah, we've talked about that, John absolutely right and it does make such a difference and i think also for filming you know when film crews want to come and visit a place they're going to be very keen to come here because you can feed them you can water them you can keep them warm and they've got clean toilets i know that sounds a tiny little thing but it makes such a difference so that was very very much on our radar when yeah. we designed everything. We wanted to make the building as camera friendly as yeah. possible. Good. Because we want those TV crews. Of course in. you do. Of course you do. Anyone who doesn't get that is bonkers. <laughs> this is um, Stephen Gareth's office, head auctioneer, right. manager. Okay. Very good. And look at the view. That, is that the old town hall? So that's our town hall. We have the best. Isn't that lovely? view out of our window. That's absolutely exceptional. Was that 16th century? I'm so bad, I suppose, is it? 1500s? Would I? Lovely high street. I mean, it is a lovely area as well. It's a good area as well. It's quite, yes. quite a wealthy area, which is, you know, you plonk yourself right in the middle of it all. So I live, I live in the town. Oh, you do? Um, I love it. Yeah. We, we have a fantastic community. So where's your office? It's straight ahead. It's the empty one. Oh, the big one. <laughs> I see. It's the empty one, mate. It's not the big one. <laughs> oh, yes. The best office for John. Look at this. <laughs> I love it. Oh. John, it's been fantastic. Thank you very much for the show around. It's really good to see you.